Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Jace. I'm here with CDL Truck Services in Longview, Texas. We teach you everything you need to know in order to pass your commercial driver's license, pre-trip inspection, backing, and over-the-road skills test. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating the pre-trip inspection. Things to keep in mind when doing the pre-trip inspection, you have to point or touch each item that you're identifying and describing. There's key words that you want to use. You want to say that the item is properly mounted and secured. If it has nuts and bolts, they're present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. If it's made of rubber, it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And if air or fluid is in it, it's not leaking. So to start this video off for pre-trip inspection, you want to start at the front of the vehicle. Starting at the front of the vehicle, you want to look under the vehicle. What you're doing is you're looking for any puddles. Examples of puddles would be a fuel leak, oil leak, a coolant leak, or a windshield washer fluid leak. So there's no leaks. Next, you want to make sure that the truck isn't leaning. Items that might be, make it lean would be a suspension issue or a flat tire. Next, start at the top of the truck. My cab marker lots, clearance lots, are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're clean and clear, not cracked or broken. They're amber in color and they're functional. Next, we'll move down to our headlight. My headlight consists of a high beam and low beam. It's properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's clean and clear, not cracked or broken. It's white in color and it's functional. My marker light, blinker, and four-way flasher is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's amber in color and functional. My marker reflector is properly mounted and secured. Clean and clear, not cracked or broken. And it's amber in color. My fender marker light is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's clean and clear, not cracked or broken. It's amber in color and functional. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the hood and I'm gonna go to the passenger side, what we consider the unique items and that are just on the passenger side. So let me raise the hood. We're going to start back here with our exhaust system. It's properly mounted and secured. Both my nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Since air flows through it, it's not leaking. And it has no signs of black soot, which would be an indication of a, of a leak. Next, we'll move back to our engine compartment. Another unique item is my coolant reservoir tank. It's properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's filled to manufacturer specifications and it's not leaking. My cap is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My rubber gasket has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking. All of my hoses leading to and from my reservoir are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. <clears throat> My windshield washer reservoir is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. From there, we'll go to our alternator. My alternator is properly mounted and secured. All of my nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's belt driven. My belt is not cut, torn, or frayed. And I have no more than th three quarter inch of play in my belt. My water pump is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from my water pump have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight, and they're not leaking. 
It's also belt drive. The belt is not cut, torn, or frayed, and I have no more than three quarter inch of play in my belt. So that covers all of the unique items on the passenger side. So for the remainder of the pre-trip inspection, we'll continue down the driver's side only. <clears throat> Starting on the driver's side, working from left to right, my radiator is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from my radiator are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. My oil fill cap is present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. This is where I would add engine oil if I needed to add oil to the motor. This is my oil dipstick. To check my oil, I would remove my dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it back out, and my oil should be above the add mark. Then I'd reinsert the oil dipstick. <clears throat> From there, we'll go to the air compressor. My air compressor is gear driven. It's properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from my air compressor are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're also not leaking. My power steering gearbox my power steering pump is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's also gear driven. <clears throat> My steering shaft is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And I have no more than 10 degrees of play in my steering shaft. My steering knuckles are properly mounted and secured and properly lubricated. My power steering gearbox is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from my power steering gearbox have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and are not leaking. My power steering reservoir is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's filled in manufacturer specifications, and it's not leaking. My cap is present and tight, and it's not leaking. My hoses leading to and from it are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. <clears throat> Next, my pitman arm is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's secured to my drag link. With a, tight, with a ball joint, my ball joint has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's secured with a castle nut and cotter pin. They are both present and tight. My drag link, properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's secured to my pitman arm and my tie rod with another ball joint. The ball joint has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's secured with a castle nut and cotter pin. They are both present and tight. My tie rod is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. The ball joint has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's secured with a castle nut and cotter pin that are present and tight. <clears throat> My frame is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My upper shock mount is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My lower shock mount is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My shock is properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And it's not leaking. <clears throat> My front leaf spring hanger is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My rear leaf spring hanger is also properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They show no signs of scissoring or shifting, which, be, which would be an indication of a broken leaf spring. 
My leaf spring are secured to my steering axle with two U-bolts. They're properly mounted and secured. They're not crack bent or broken. My locking nuts, you must identify them as such, are present and tight. My steering axle is properly mounted and secured. My nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. From there, we'll work our way out. We have our brake lines. Our brake lines properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking. My ABS wire. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cut or spliced. My brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. My air hoses are also not leaking. My brake chamber clamp is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My push rod is properly mounted and secured. It's a all nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. To check my brakes for adjustment, I would chalk the wheels, release the brakes, pull on the slack adjuster, and I should have no more than one inch of play in my push rod. From there, we'll work our way to our brake drum. Our brake drum is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake pad is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I have more than one quarter inch of thickness in my brake pad material. There's no oil, grease, or debris in my brake drum and brake pad. From there, we'll go to the inner wheel. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from illegal welds. Next, we'll go to the inner tire wall. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly mounted and seated to my wheel. Next, we'll work our way out on the tire. This is, must be identified as a virgin steer tire. It has more than 4 30 seconds of an inch tread depth. In order to check the tread depth, you would use a tire tread depth gauge. The tire is evenly worn. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The outer tire wall has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly seated to my outer wheel. My valve stem is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. This tire has 100 PSI of air pressure. In order to check the air pressure, I would use a tire pressure gauge. My outer wheel is properly mounted and secured off my Lug nuts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not loose. Signs of looseness would be shiny metal or rust trails around the lug nut. My wheel is, my wheel is free from illegal welds. My hub seal is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's filled to manufacturer specifications and it's not leaking. From there, we'll continue down on down the side of the truck. My driver's side mirror is properly mounted and secured. Off my nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My driver's side door, properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It has no holes or intrusions. My door opens and closes properly. On the inside of the door, my door hinges are properly mounted and secured. All of my nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My door seal is properly mounted and secure. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My grab handle is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My steps are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and they're free from any debris. My fuel tank is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. My fuel tank straps are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My fuel tank cap is present and tight. My rubber gasket has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. 
My safety chain is present and it's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from my fuel tank have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight and they're not leaking. This is my DEF system. My DEF system is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. All hoses leading to and from it have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. All fittings are present and tight, and they're not leaking. My cap is present and tight. My rubber seal has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking. These are the fuel hoses. All fittings are present and tight, and they're not leaking. All right, moving along. My battery box is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My battery cables are not cut or spliced. They show no signs of corrosion, <clears throat> and the battery is not leaking. The back cab is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It has no holes or intrusions in the back of the cab. My reflective tape is clean and clear, white in color. My rear window is properly mounted and secured. It's clean and clear, not cracked or broken. From there, we'll continue moving on. My electrical line is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My latch is present and in place. My electrical line, the prongs are not bent or broken and are free from debris. The electrical line itself is not cut or spliced. My service airlines and emergency airlines are properly mounted and secured. All host clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bolts, or cuts. I have plenty of radius and my service lines and electrical line for turning. <clears throat> my glad hands are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My rubber seal is not cut, torn, or frayed. It's free from debris, and they're not leaking. Next, we'll talk about our platform. My platform is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from debris. My step is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My longitudinal frame is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My primary and secondary air tanks are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. All airlines leading to and from my primary and secondary tanks are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and the system is not leaking. My drive shaft is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my U-joints are properly greased. My frame cross member is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And there, we'll keep working out. My splash guard is properly mounted and secured. All of my nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My mud flap is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My mud flaps are within eight inches of the ground. My tail light, blinker, Brake light and four-way flasher are all properly mounted and secured. They're clean and clear, not cracked or broken. They're red in color and functional. This is a single axle spring suspension, no air rod, no torque bar. My front leaf spring hanger is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My rear leaf spring hanger is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured to my rear axle. 
They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They show no signs of scissoring or shifting, which would be an indication of a broken leaf spring. They're secured to my rear axle with two U-bolts. My locking nuts are present and tight, and my U-bolts are not cracked, bent, or broken. My torsion bar is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. <laughs> From there, we'll do the brakes. My brake lines are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. <clears throat> My brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. My brake chamber clamps are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My ABS wire is present. It's not cut or spliced. Working my way back, my brake drum is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake pad is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I have more than one quarter inch of thickness in my brake pad material, and there's no oil, grease, or debris. My inner wheel is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from illegal welds. My inner tire wall has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly seated to my inner wheel. This tire has more than two thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. To check the tread depth, you'd use a tire tread depth gauge. The tire is evenly worn, has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The outer tire wall is properly mounted and seated to the outside of the wheel. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. This tire has 100 PSI of air pressure. My valve stem is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. To check this tire for the tire pressure, I'd use a tire pressure gauge. <clears throat> My wheel is properly mounted and secured. All of my lug nuts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. Signs of looseness would be shiny metal or rust trails. <clears throat> it's also free from illegal welds. My rear axle hub seal is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's filled to manufacturer specifications, and it's not leaking. All right, continuing on, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll talk about the coupling system. My apron <clears throat> is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's sitting on my fifth wheel skid plate. My skid plate is properly greased. It shows no signs of daylight or gaps. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's secured to my platform with pivot pins. My pivot pins are not cracked, bent, or broken and are properly greased. My release arm handle is in the locked position. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My safety latch is present. My locking jaws are in the locked position around the kingpin shank. The kingpin shank is not cracked, bent, or broken. My platform is properly mounted and secured. All of my platform mounting bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And this is a stationary fifth wheel, no air slide. Now we'll continue on with the trailer. My trailer header is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. The floor of my trailer is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. All of my boards are present. They show no signs of dry rotting. My trailer clearance light is properly mounted and secured. It's clean and clear, not cracked or broken. It's amber in color and functional. My trailer marker light is properly mounted and secured. Clean and clear, not cracked or broken. And amber in color. My trailer side frame rail is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My DOT reflective tank, tank is present, it's not cut or torn, and covers at least 50% of the side of the trailer frame rail. 
working our way down. My trailer frame rails, longitudinal frame rails are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My trailer cross frame cross members are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My trailer landing gear is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My landing gear support brace is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And I have plenty of clearance between my landing gear and the back of my truck for turning. Working our way down. My trailer marker light is properly mounted and secure, clean and clear, not cracked or broken. It's red in color and functional. My mud flaps are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's within eight inches of the ground. My tail light consists of my turn signal, brake light, four-way flasher, and uh, turn signal, brake light, four-way flasher, and running light, properly mounted and secured, clean and clear, not cracked or broken, and red in color and functional. My DOT bumper is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My DOT reflective tape is clean and clear, properly mounted. It's not cut or torn and covers 100% of the rear of my bumper. My license plate light is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's clean and clear, not cracked or broken and functional. My trailer marker lights are clean and clear, not cracked or broken, properly mounted and secured, red in color and functional. Don't forget to contact cdltruckservices.com for your pre-trip inspection. All right, this is a single axle spring suspension, no air rod, no tandem release arm. <clears throat> My front leaf spring hanger is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My rear leaf spring hanger is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They show no signs of scissoring or shifting, which would be an indication of a broken leaf spring. My torsion bar is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured to my trailer axle with two U-bolts. My U-bolts are not cracked, bent, or broken. They're secured with locking nuts that are present and tight. <clears throat> we'll her, come around here so we can see the brakes. All right, my brake lines are properly mounted and secured. All hose clamps and fittings are present and tight. They have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. My brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. My brake chamber clamps are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. <clears throat> My push rod is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. To check my brakes for adjustment, I would chalk the wheels, release the brakes, pull on the slack adjuster, and I should have no more than one inch of play in the push rod. Moving in, my brake drum is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake pads are properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I have more than one quarter inch of thickness in my brake pad material, and my drum and brake pad are free from oil, grease, and debris. My inner wheel is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from illegal welds. My inner tire wall has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly seated to my inner wheel. My tire has more than 2 30 seconds of an inch tread depth in order to check the tread depth. I would use a tire tread depth gauge. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer tire wall has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly seated to my wheel. 
my wheel is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from illegal welds. It's properly mounted and secured. All of my lug nuts are present and tight. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. Signs of looseness would be shiny metal or rust trails. My valve stem is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And since it holds back air, it's not leaking. This tire has 100 PSI of air pressure. To check the tire pressure, I'd use a tire pressure gauge. <clears throat> My trailer hub seal, axle hub seal is properly mounted and secured. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's filled to manufacturer specifications, and it's not leaking. So that completes the outside of the pre-trip inspection. From here, we'll then move to do the in-cab inspection. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.